Good morning, John here. Um, I had to buy, I lost my, my stair gauges, my little brass stair gauges. I had to buy some, I, these are Johnson. Um, I had my other ones for years and I don't know what I did with them, but I lost them. But I had them, you know, I, I, I had four years of apprenticeship for carpentry way back in the old days, <laughs> back before they had cell phones and all the apps that go with them. But uh, I just thought I'd do a quick little uh, lesson on, on laying out, uh, I know they call these stair gauges, you, you use them, you can use them for either one, but I used them for, um, for doing rafters. And this was the simple way that I, uh, I did it. Let's say you've got a, okay, if you, for, for your roof pitch, you go 12 inches and then whatever rise of the pitch. If it's a 312 pitch, it would be up three inches for 12. If it's a 412, five, six, and so on and so forth. I'm, I'm just doing a, a 612 here. And I'm, let's say the building is 20 feet wide, you would do what I'm doing 10 times because you, you have the building. Um, I'm just doing a little, like a dog house, like a, like a, three, like a three foot wide, um, well it'd be actually be six foot, be a six foot wide building what I'm doing because I'm doing three times. Um, and you want to make sure you mark right at the 12, I, I put like a little arrow but here, let me let me bring the, the camera over here and see if I can if I can show how I I laid this out already. Okay, you can see I've got my building center determined, and then whatever thickness for your ridge, which I'm just using an example of like if you were to use a, th a three or a, a, a an inch and a half wide two by six or two by eight. So I've halved that, and that's the, that's the three quarters of an inch. Because this is your this this would be your center of your building. So you just from that center you put you put your framing square there, and then you can see I've got the mark at twelve right right there. And then you just step that down, put it there, and then you mark it 12, and you, you just step off three times because this building's six foot wide, so my, my rafter would be three of those because the other side would be three. And then you've got your mark at 12. Okay, then that becomes your your building line, your outside of your building line. So then you just mark your, what you're marking here is the outside edge of the bird's mouth. And then you make a mark like so, and then that would be cut out for your bird's mouth. I mean, you can do the math of, you know, of if you wanted to, but usually what I do, let's say I got a, I got 50 rafters to, to cut out or 20, 20 rafters. I do one and, and then make, and then cut it and make sure it's right. And then I make that my, my pattern and I mark it pattern. And then I use that to cut the rest of them. Um, but that's just a simple way, not having to do the, the algebra, <laughs> you know, of, of this, of this, this length, because it's, as long as you mark the 12 and step it off, I mean, it's, it's within a 16th. I mean, it's, 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 pretty, it's close enough for, for, for wood. <laughs> it's, it's not machining and metal. But anyhow, just a quick little lesson on, on a simple rafter um, using the, uh, the stair gauges. Because you do the same thing for doing, for laying out stairs.
uh, maybe I'll do a stair stair tread layout video see how see how useful people find this one <laughs> like I say they got they got apps now on the phones but this is how I used to do it back in the old days so all right you have a good one God bless oh here's the hammer handle it's not pretty but it fits in my hand well and I and it's my grandpa's uh, handle that he made balanced well but uh, put a little wedge in it there so it it lives on <laughs> all righty you have good good one god bless